higher level content that also in the foundation paper. So this is called crossover material because it's the stuff that does also appear at higher level GCSE. And so we start looking at some more complex maths here. Um, so we're going to start relatively straightforward and then gradually build up on that. But please make sure that if you've got any questions on any of the earlier material, you do ask me before going on to anything more difficult because you will find the later stuff more difficult if you don't get the first if you don't get the first um, the first topics. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at how we plot line graphs. So a line graph is always given as a formula which connects two variables. Normally they're called x, which is the horizontal and y which is the vertical and we've been given an equation here y equals 2x plus 1 and each equation can be drawn as a picture as a line so what we're going to try and do is try and draw the line that connects y equals 2x plus 1 and what that means is that the y coordinate should always be double the x coordinate 2x take away 1 now what I would always start with here is ignoring that negative because we don't want to do calculations with negative numbers if we don't if we don't have to. So we're going to start on this first example by saying, well, let's say x equals zero. So we've got here we're saying y equals two x take away one. And on this first point here we're going to take x equals zero. So if x equals zero, then y is going to be two times whatever x was. Well two times nothing take away 1. 2 times nothing is nothing. Take away 1 is just minus 1. So when x is 0, y is going to be equal to minus 1. We're now going to see what happens when x is 1. When x is 1, you've got y equals 2 times 1, take away 1. 2 times 1 is 2, take away 1 is 1. x equals 2, y is 2 times 2 take away 1, which is 3. Do the same with 3. 2 times 3 is 6, take away 1 is 5. So I've got 0 and my positives filled in. I'm going to do my negative now. When x equals minus 1, y equals 2, 2 times minus 1, take away 1. Positive 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, take away 1 is minus 3. And we can check that. Because the x's go up by 1 each time, the y's should follow a similarly consistent pattern. And we can see that each time they go up by 2. So I could have spotted the pattern. If there's no pattern in your answers, the chances are you've made a mistake. So once you've done your table of values, you can then start plotting your points. So the first point here is minus 1, minus 3. So I'm going to go on my graph, x is minus 1, y is minus 3. Notice the scale is different, it's two squares for one on the x-axis, one square for one on the y-axis. Minus 1, minus 3 is going to be down here. 0, minus 1 is there. 1, 1 is up here. 2, 3 is here. And then I've got 3, 5 up here. And we should notice, if those don't all form on a straight line, we've made a mistake. So it should be easy for us to spot whether or not these are correct. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect those up with a straight line using a ruler. And I should always label my line with its equation. So the equation of this line is y equals 2x minus 1. OK, we're going to try to do the same for number 2. y equals 6, take away 2x. Again, I'm going to start with x equals 0. y equals 6, take away 2x. I'm going to start by saying x equals 0. So y equals 6, take away 2 times 0. Now, remember we've got to use bid mass. We always use bid mass. So I start by doing my multiplication. 2 times nothing is nothing. So it's 6, take away nothing which is 6. So when x equals 0, y equals 6. When x equals 1, y equals 6, take away 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2, 6 take away 2 is 4. 
I carry on, it'll be 2 and 0. I'm going to just work backwards. 0, 2, 4, 6, minus 1 should have given me 8. And you can check it. 6, take away 2 times minus 1. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So it's 6, take away minus 2. Taking away a minus is the same as adding. 6 plus 2, which is 8. But you can see there, there's lots of opportunity for you to make mistakes. So it's really helpful to leave the negative numbers until the end. I'm going to do this one in red. Negative 1, 8 is up here. 0, 6. 1, 4. 2, 2. And 3, 0. Connect them up with a straight line and label them. And we can see I've got my y equals 6 take away 2x drawn there in red. It's also possible, and especially if the question comes towards the end of your GCSE paper, that you're told to just find the line without being given a table of values. So you need to look at what graph you've been given, or if it tells you what values to use, you need to use those values. But here, we know we've got an x value from minus 1 up to 3. I'm just going to choose three points in that range. I'm going to choose 0, 1, and 2. So all I need to do is make my own table. x equals 0, 1, and 2. Let's work out what y is. Well, this is nice and easy. 3 plus nothing is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. And there I've got my coordinate. I'm going to do this one in, in green. It gives me 0, 3, 1, 4, and 2, 5. How many points do I need to do? Well, you need two to be able to draw a line, and your third one then helps you to be able to check that those are on a straight line. So I would always make sure that I do at least three points if it doesn't give me a table of values. And again, we just label it y equals 3 plus x. OK, pause the video now while you take down those worked examples, and then we'll go on to some questions for you to try yourselves. OK, so for this question, you're going to need to draw um, a set of axes. On the x-axis that go from minus 2 up to 4, please use two squares for every one on the x-axis. From the y-axis, it goes from, you're going to need to go down to minus 7, on the y-axis all the way up to 14 at the top and use one square for each space on the y-axis. You've got six you've got six graphs to plot. You can plot them all on the single set of axes. Um, pause the video now, fill in the fill in the tables. I would always recommend starting with the positive x values as you fill in those tables and make sure you label your lines when they're done. Good luck. Okay, so here are the completed tables of values and the graphs. Um, for D onwards, where you weren't given a table of values, I've used what I thought were going to be the easiest numbers, which are 0, 2, and 4, and used those to plot my lines rather than having the full range of numbers there. It just makes it quicker for you to draw them, and that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that all of your graphs are labelled. Give yourself a mark out of 6, please, for any that you've got correct. Um, and then if you need any more assistance on this topic, it's Hegarty clip number 206. Very well done.